Testing, testing, one, two, three. We are live here on the Facebooks. And it's checking connections now. And we are live on the Instagrams. Uh, so just kind of bear with us here. Just want to make sure that that's okay, that we are in there. Um, hello, everybody. If you're just tuning in, uh, check out this awesome medallion uh, beaded. You guys can all see that. It's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, we are live here. Going to do some bustle making today. Uh, like I said, uh, we were gonna, we were we're going live every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we're we're going live, and uh, we're making bustles. So we're going through all the steps of making bustles. The first day, uh, we're making fancy dance bustles for those of you on the gram. But uh, those of you guys who've been following on Facebook, uh, we've been making fancy dance bustles every Wednesday. Uh, the first day we kind of did the first process of putting in the dowels into the feathers. Uh, second day, uh, we we put the the zip ties at the bottom of the the bustles. And today we're doing tape work, so we're gonna finish the tape work off on the on the bustles. And but before we get started, I like to do a shout out to everybody. So if you're watching out there on Facebook land, um, put that you can hear us because I don't know if you guys could hear us. Just just put uh, yes in the comments if you guys could hear us uh, nice and good. Uh, we want to make sure that the sound is going through uh, really good. And then after that, you know, let us know where you're watching from because we'd like to shout you out and and your tribe and where you're watching from someone said wash hands i don't know oh so yeah alan rice says yes you can hear us so that, thank you alan thank you aj thank you uh some might sleeper uh derek rope oh pops is in the house derek uh, good to see you on uh, on the live <laughs> uh and then yeah give us a shout out of where you're watching from we got a lot of people coming on uh, here live with us. Um, we, we said we're going live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And it is now 6.46 p.m., Jiao. So we're, we're heading down that uh, right on time. I don't know. This is kind of strange. We're actually before on time. So kind of non-native of us to, to do that. Anyway, uh, we got people coming in from Fargo, North Dakota, Honest John Baker, what is up? We got uh, Camrose, Alberta, not too far from us. Darcy, hey, if you're in Camrose, come on down to Red Deer. We have Dance Troop Night every every second Tuesday. Uh, Warm Springs, Oregon in the house. We got Tono Tohona Udam Nation, Arizona. Uh, Winnipeg in the house. Who, Jao, if you want to look on Instagram, make sure I'm, I'm also counting them in. We got Winnipeg, uh, Oklahoma. How y'all doing? I'm watching from Oklahoma, home of Fancy Dance. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, thank you guys from Oklahoma. You gave me a dance that uh, I truly love and truly enjoy. Uh, we got the Chippewa Cake Clan. Uh, we got some guys from uh, Alexander First Nation. Oh, Ooh, Alexander someone. in the house. We, uh, Durant, Oklahoma in the house. We got Edmonton, Instagram. we got Milwaukee from the Minami Nation, Menominee, sorry. Yeah, holy, the Menominee. Holy, what's going on with that? We got the YouTubes, the Mohawk in the house. We got Wind River, Wyoming. Good to see you guys. Uh, Utah, Louisiana, North Dakota, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, St. Cloud, Minnesota. So people from basically all parts of the globe you know we got north south 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 uh east and west um all parts of the medicine wheel kind of all directions we have all of them represented here today uh broski and of course uh, ganio ganipa with uh broski chase bull in the house we got uh pueblo new mexico and pleasant hill saskatoon you know i spent a lot of time in pleasant hill saskatoon growing up and uh, and a lot of a lot of memories there growing up in that area of Saskatoon. So Pamela, thanks for for joining in. James Bay, Canada. The Crees in the house and off the end. Heather Jackson says that I don't know what know what that means, but hello and welcome. Vancouver, 
Vancouver, British Columbia. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. He even Saskatchewan. said it's Saskatchewan. Right? Saskatchewan. I eh? think it's almost like the proper way to say it. Uh, Blackfeet Nation uh, of the Native Globe. Oh, that's what it means. Of the N is of the Native Globe. So now that we know that, guys, we're going to be going into some bustle making. Uh, thank you guys for, for tuning in. Uh, we got uh, Red Deer Aboriginal Dance Troop to our left, Instagram in the middle, and Facebook and <laughs> YouTube YouTube on, on our right here. Yeah, so. so we are streaming on all kinds of social medias here today. And uh, we are going to be doing the tape work. So, Jal, you want to show the tape work, kind of what we're doing? Maybe grab one of the feathers sure, off. Sure, sure. So, like I said, this is the part three to this. We've been doing this for... Uh, this is our third day, so our third week in, and we plan to do these bustles until they're finished, so they're completely done. So right now, we're going to do a simple design. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a shiny tape with white kind of just on the, the edging uh, or near the base, not even the base, near the, the top part of, uh, of the feather. So nice and simple. We're going to keep it all black, so we have a black colored base, and so now that everything is measured out really really nice here we did the show them the bottom part that we did the other one so if you guys missed video number two we had the bottoms all done up with the zip ties so the zip ties we did and that's where you're able to put a string through so you guys could see the string you're only able to do that when you have the zip ties put on the bottom and then we 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 laced it or covered it with black tape and the reason why we did that is so when it when we came to the tape work it's kind of easier because the base is already all co the, the color we want so these bustles are going to be black and white they kind of have that checker style piano style kind of uh design with the feathers so you go um white white black black white white black black so that's kind of the pattern that we're going with this uh bustle and now we're just doing the tape work so you know like i said before bustle making is very repetitive so it's always good hey now we can turn this on and throw some music on here but it's always good to like yeah. you know you're, you're you have some repetitive work it's good to to because for me it's always like med meditation to do this kind of work because you're sitting for long hours and you're doing things over and over and over again so when we're doing this tape work we're doing it kind of the same process for with each feather over and over again so those of you guys who are just tuning in we are making bustles live online until the bustles are completely done obviously we're not going to get it done all today but we're doing it live every wednesday until the bustle is complete so we're gonna have a nice set of bustles on uh i think maybe we could get it done in three more weeks so today we'll get all the tape work done the next day we're gonna do the top of the feathers we're gonna cut them out and do the top and maybe start wrapping hackle. Uh, that'd be nice if we can get that far with you guys. So uh, we want to let you know the whole process. So if those of you guys are at home, you have family who wants to dance fancy, you have children. And what we find too is a lot of like single mothers out there, they want to get their sons dancing. And so they'll learn a process like this so they could get their kids out there, which is really, really cool. So... Here we go, you know, without, you know, you guys don't want to hear me ramble all day long. We're going to get this this party started here. Jao just looking for that uh those tunes on um He's get looking for those tunes on Power Times on YouTube. So, we got a question already. It says, "Do you guys dye your hackles or buy them already dyed?" You know, we'll kind of do both of that process. And right now I'm trying to figure out how to do it white because um, I have some natural turkey feathers and I want to learn how to just make them completely white myself. I know how to dye them all kinds of other colors. We use uh, Ritz, Ritz dye or people use Kool-Aid, um, Dylon dye as well. That's another another types of dyes a lot of people use out there. Uh, Jonas Thompson, brother, he says, good heart tattoo checking, carry the kettle. Bro, if you guys want an awesome tattoo, hit up Jonas Thompson, bro. I don't know if you have a Facebook page or a way if they could get a hold of you to book some awesome tattoos. Or maybe you're completely booked. So I don't know. 
I'm sorry to have a bunch of people message you if you are. <laughs> um, and you'll definitely come check out Red Deer. That'd be awesome. Check out Red Deer Aboriginal Dance Troupe on Facebook. It'll give you kind of schedules. And we have a lot of people come on out to come dance. So, yeah, oh, Australia in the house as well. So let's get started, Jow. Let's get these feathers going here. So I'm going to put the mic down. Hopefully you guys can hear the music in the background. We're just going to be chilling and then making these bustles. And uh, here we go. So I'm just going to go put some uh, a little uh, trick of the trade again, a little trick of the trade. So the reason why we do such a uh, kind of like a simple, simple kind of tape job on the, the bustles themselves is because sometimes when we're dancing or your son's dancing so hard some it'll like somehow it'll break it's like it'll happen <laughs> it'll happen sometimes it'll break. yeah sometimes it'll break so what the reason why we put such a simple design is because we don't really want to um do all that work to put like an individual uh, um color scheme so sometimes people like to put uh, like a, a star kind of like a star kind of uh, design on their bustles, and you'll see that people do like a star kind of like going up and down, and that takes time and like a lot of thinking. And with this, you can just go like three or four, even up to six, seven colors of just layered on top of each other, and that way they'll all be the same. And that way, if they break in the future, then you you know you'll you don't have to <laughs> change too much. And yeah, so it's pretty pretty easy peasy. And also these this tape work we're doing right now is actually lined up on the kind of like by the whole area or by the our our line we made in the beginning. So if you guys didn't watch our first kind of live there, it's on our page somewhere, scroll down. Even on uh YouTube. It's on YouTube. So yeah, and also our sponsors. Uh Pat, if you wanna go ahead and do that, our sponsors. Yeah, so um, like Jao said, you know, to keep it simple because sometimes those feathers break and it's easier to switch out. But we don't want to discourage you from making all kinds of deadly designs on your bustles because you can make a star design, you can make a teepee on here, you can make uh, zigzags, you can do all kinds of stuff with your tape work. Um, with us, because this is a long process and we don't want to have you guys watching a long long video we made it very simple uh, uh to keep it simple for you guys so um one of the things that we did is on the first video is we we, cre we created a guide feather and that we marked it with a piece of tape and this is the one feather we'll keep beside us at all times because it's it's this what we're gonna go off of so when i line these two feathers up together right from the bottom i can match the tape where the tape is from the guide feather just to make sure it's all even and that kind of helps out as well that's like another trick of the trade um if you're not if you don't have a guide feather then you're gonna have to bring out a ruler and just measure everything kind of perfectly so we like to go with the guide feather and we'll know where to put the tape and this video is also made possible from canadacouncil.ca. You know, they help out uh, artists, they help out indigenous artists, things like that. So uh, I'd like to thank uh, Canada Council for sponsoring this video for us to come and make these bustles. And basically the end result is we're gonna have a full set of bustles by the end of this whole thing, which is I think we're gonna go live about maybe two or three more times we should have this bustle all done and complete and hopefully it helps a lot of people out there when it comes to learning how to make bustles so we'd like to thank everyone for viewing and yeah so we're you guys can watch us as we do this if you have any questions as well feel free to put them into the comment box and yeah and if you guys want to buy us a coffee for this information uh you can send 250 stars i believe if you send 250 stars that will buy us a coffee later today and we'll really appreciate that and yeah, so thank you so much. And we're going to get to work here.
Honey, the raw and tasty. I guess I need it. Well, right now. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I don't know if you guys caught our live video that we did today um, earlier. But we have a, a powwow exhibit going up at the Red Deer Museum in Red Deer, Alberta. So if you guys want to check that out, um, if you guys are in the area to come check out, there's going to be like a powwow st statues with powwow regalia on it of every category. Not every category, but like seven different categories. I know different places have different styles of dancing. But it's a really cool exhibit because what we did was we traveled around North America and we got knowledge keepers from different parts, like from Oklahoma, from uh, Ojibwe area, from Ontario, from all kinds of places to tell us the story of each dance, which I thought was really, really awesome. So. So AJ said, will you guys be doing other types of videos like backboards, roaches, arm bustles, etc.? Because the video series on power times is super helpful. Yes, we do plan on um, kind of having kind of the full run of all kinds of things, right? Yeah. Um, we do partner a lot with Red Deer Aboriginal Dance Troop and they did some workshops on like quilling already on... Um, ribbon skirt making on um, different things like that so you know if you guys follow them on their page as well uh, they got a lot of good things going on but yes we we, we do plan on making uh, some really good videos step-by-step -step videos for for all kinds of things so for those of you guys who don't know what aj is talking about if you head over to powertimes.ca our website we have a video series on this bustle making, like with kind of nice, up close, higher quality video. Because I know the live stream can kind of get a little bit blurry at times. Uh, so you can go to powertimes.ca and you'll see a tab that says training or it says you want to learn how to do bustle making. And all you got to do is sign up with your email and we'll send you that free training where you kind of go step by step at your own pace right your own pace and we kind of go in more detail on on everything so check that out if you guys like you know feel free to check it out if you like this video you'll love those other videos there so awesome awesome and he says coffee for you both thank you thank you so much awesome and those of you on Instagram, what's up, guys? Good to see you. Good. Thanks for tuning in. Red Deer Aboriginal Dance Troop, we see you. We see you right on. And uh, Canada Council, just want to shout out to you again for having us here. Heather Jackson says, cool. Cool. I like that. And she's on the YouTubes right now. So those of you guys on the YouTubes right now watching, thank you for tuning in. Does anybody know of any secret powwows happening soon? I know like like back in the day when the Indian Act came out, um, remember they had to, they put indigenous people on reserves and they had an Indian agent that was there that didn't allow us to just leave the reserve, right? We needed permission to leave. But there would be some tribes still out there that would have secret gatherings and secret powers uh, because they, they wanted to keep our ways, right? We wanted to keep doing our dancing and our songs. And now with COVID happening, it's almost like that same kind of vibe where we're, we're doing secret powwows out there. <laughs> but also, um, powwow is coming up in Frog Lake, Alberta. Did you see that, Joe? No, I didn't. Yeah, there's an actual powwow, a one-day powwow happening in Frog Lake, Alberta, I believe next weekend. A one-day powwow in Frog Lake, Alberta. So those of you guys, check it out. I also seen 
on the the Facebooks. Uh, men's fancy versus ladies fancy at Oklahoma. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Yeah, that was on uh, Hoka Sound. If you guys go to Hoka Sound page, there was an actual women's fancy versus men's fancy. I thought that was really cool to see. Um, we did ours. I don't know if you guys seen on our Facebook, but we did our, our men's fancy versus ladies fancy. And it was really, really awesome to, to have everyone come out and dance. So I'm going to get dive into another uh, trick of the trade here. So everyone watching, pay attention. So uh, what I'm doing right now, is, if you guys can see, I have this little tiny uh, silver shiny tape. And what I'm doing is, is I'm kind of slicing it to a smaller size with an X-Acto knife. So if you're uh, underage and you're doing this at home, please get an adult or, but this is, <laughs> this is a little bit uh, on the dangerous side, but what I do is I kind of, I, I go a little bit tinier than the, uh, the electrical tape we're using. And uh, what I'm doing after that is once I got it down to the size I wanted to, to go to, I put it onto a flat surface like this, up to this box I'm using. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make rows, a lot of rows of the same color. And I'm going to cut it to a certain length so it fits around the dowel. So what this does is it kind of saves time. You can just slice, 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 and slice. And then... Um, I got this story. Yep. Keep talking. <laughs> yeah, you can slice. And then this, this kind of saves time. So you can... Uh, you can kind of... Just so you can show your tape at the same time. So yeah, you put a lot of like rows of tape here. Then you, you cut it to the uh, length. Then you could just peel them off so you don't have to keep on unrolling the tape. So that's a little trick of the trade I've learned that, you know, kind of saves me time. If I have a lot of colors to do, then I'll just do that. Yeah. We have a, uh, a phone call here. Excuse <laughs> us. <laughs> One second, uh, Instagram. And we are back. So let me put that away. So my son is in school right now, and he had volleyball tryouts today, and so he's just messaging me, and I'm saying, hey, come walk to the house. <laughs> we're, we're live right now. I can't come pick you up. Um, look at Hola Desde Chile. Are you from Chile? Like, really? Are you watching from Chile? That's so awesome. <laughs> Omar Mar says, laugh my ass out, Pat. <laughs> uh, Ohio says hello. What's up, Ohio? And um, Aaron says hello. How are you? Um, you know, getting it. We're we're getting by for sure. We're we're just um, yeah. And happy, happy, joy, joy. What an awesome name, hey? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah, that's a awesome. I like that. Wow, that's cool. And Pamela says, looking forward to the other videos of that, Patrick. Hey, thank you, Pamela. So. Yeah, we're just uh, still live here and doing all this tape work and going to get these bustles all done. Hopefully, you guys hopefully you guys know um, what we're doing here. You know, hopefully we explained it uh, good enough where you guys can understand, uh, especially those of you who are following along. Um, if you have any questions or you want any close-ups on any certain thing that we're doing here, just let us know in the comments and we'll make sure that we, uh, we're accommodating that. And someone says, hey, thanks for sharing. I can't wait for power season to come back to California. You know what? As am I. Uh, usually we're in California in September. Every year, right, Joe? I think every year we're in California in September and not this time. So. Also uh, universals. Yeah, you know what? I don't know about you guys out there, but, you know, we love going to Universal Studios. Um it was so fun last time going. I got a little word of advice, though. Get the, what is it, the fast pass. <laughs> Get the fast pass. One time we waited, uh, what was it, almost two hours. <laughs> it felt like two hours on for the one ride. 
any of our, our native brothers and sisters that work at Universal Studios and wants to hook us up, let us let us know. <laughs> we'll bring some youth out. We work a lot with youth, and um, you know that'd be an experience for our youth. And we just happen to work with a lot of youth who are in care, in foster care, and things like that. And if we could give them that type of experience, that'd be so awesome. So those of you, I know our native people out there, they have connections, right? They know someone who knows someone who knows somebody. So uh, I want to get to know that somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. And then we could take the youth out there. Even if you have hookups for like NHL games in the future when they're on or NBA games or baseball games or any kind of hookups like that, that our youth could be a part of. Uh, we'll make the trip. We'll definitely make the trip because what we what we'll do is we'll see if there's a powwow nearby, and we'll make an excuse to go to the powwow to take the youth to to something cool after the powwow, right? So they get double whammy. They'll get the experience of the powwow, and then they'll get the experience of uh, you know doing something fun that they would not otherwise be able to do. So we love working with youth. And giving them the opportunity to do some cool things. So if there's any hookups that we have out there, we will use them. That's for sure. Hello, crafters, people say out there. Uh, hey, guys, from Teresa Serrano. Hello, crafters. Sue Musica es Hermosa. I'm not a, I didn't really know how to. Sorry if I butchered that. Hey, hello from Moore, Mulbridge, South Dakota. Melina King says, hi there. What's up? And thank you both for sharing the work. I appreciate you and what you're doing. Take care of yourselves and each other. Happy greetings from Ohio. That's from Debbie Lambs Esterline. Thank you so much. Um, and Aaron Squire says, there is a lot of fires in California, but it's gotten bitter, better probably. All kind, all kind of bitter, all kind of and I live in California. Ooh. Yeah, you know, prayers to everyone who's dealing with fires. You know, that's not a not a good thing to be a part of, man. The, those fires are there's power in that vicious. It's always crazy how like Mother Nature is kind of always puts us in our place. Sometimes we think, you know, our humankind will kind of think sometimes they're above nature, and then nature will come in teach us otherwise again. <laughs> so if you guys are just watching at home, make sure to give us a like, give us a share, give us a care, and uh, yeah, let us know where you're watching from. If you have any questions, shoot away. Yeah. Adrian says, my favorite brand of coffee in Oklahoma is Folgers. Jao, what is your favorite type of coffee? What kind of coffee do you like? If, uh, I, if I had to pick Honestly, uh, probably what's a red one there? Uh, is that Folgers I'm thinking about? Yeah, I think that might be Folgers. I think that as might be well. Folgers. You might be one. a Folgers man. You know what? I like Tim Hortons coffee, but I also like, I don't even know, but you get it at Costco and it has a mix and a hint of, what is it there? That's that, uh, hazelnut. hazelnut. Yeah. It's like hazelnut coffee. It's so good. And. So we got a question, Joe, and this is kind of a, it's almost like a tobacco question, but <laughs> we're going to answer it anyway. It says, how straight should the spikes be? After putting on the extensions for the hackles, I'm wondering if the spike bowing is going to affect the way it sits after it's assembled. Definitely when you put the extensions on. So when you're cutting this out and you put the extensions on, a lot of them, depending on the if you have what quality of spike you have, some are going to hang a little lower, right? Some are going to hang a little lower. Some are going to be a little higher, stronger. But um, usually what we do is when you're assembling, like the part one of this video, when you're assembling and you're putting the dowel on, you're already looking for the curve. And you're going to know what curve you want to use. But if you want to go extreme and you want to be really good with it, you could take an iron or some like a, a heating thing like top of a lamp or something you could put it on the lamp light itself and you could straighten the feather um 
I like to use a, an iron kind of just on the stem part. And you could kind of shape it any way you like. You know, these, these feathers are semi-good quality, and they have a good curve to them that we matched up. If you've seen in video number one, we matched up all the curves. So the, all these curves, based on the guide feather, are matched up on the curve. So these bustles are going to look really nice for, for the the junior boys. This is going to be a junior boy set, kind of a little little guy, maybe about between five years old to seven years old. He'll be able to use this for about you know a good few years, unless he has one of those deadly deadly growth spurts. So that's a hopefully that answers your question, AJ. Uh, he says first first time bustle maker. I'm insecure about the little things. I might be doing them wrong. And I, sorry, I wish I could send tobacco. Unfortunately, I can only send stars through there too. You know we. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, just kidding about the tobacco question too, you know. Um, you know what? Your first bustle set might not be the greatest. I'm just going to say that because there's a lot of us, you know, uh, it might not be the best. But your second one, guess what? It's going to be a little better. And then the third one, it's going to be even better. And then, the, the, you know, when you keep going, you're only going to get better and that's what i know so i'm gonna leave that with you and uh, thank you for the stars hey we got our our longtime friend john miller in the house from six nations hello 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 uh john's always uh, a a good friend that who's always tuning in to our power times thing so we want to say hello to you like probably like a vip viewer you know you're always there supporting yeah. and so we thank you for that and you know, we a couple years back got to go and visit Six Nations Reserve, right, Joe? Yeah, it's uh, astonishingly clean. <laughs> <laughs> Very beautiful place. Um, uh, we have some friends out there in in Six Nations, and um, the family it was actually uh, the Miller family as well, so it must be related to you. And they hosted us very well, and we had a very good time at Six Nations powwow. In Ontario, a lot of good fancy dancers that way. Yeah, we were yeah. dancing and battling. Uh, I think we had an advantage though because Northern Cree was there, and Northern Cree usually sings where we're at, so we knew all their songs. We were prepared, and it kind of felt at home to have Northern Cree singing at Six Nations with us. So, uh, yeah, Jao, I think this one's for you. Devine Lacido says, hi, Jiao. I love you. No, I'm just kidding. He says, <laughs> hi. hi, guys. Hi, I love you. I love you. Also, for those of you watching on uh, Red Deer Dance Troupe, Instagram, on Instagram, on Facebook, Jiao's single. He's a single man here, and he's uh, <laughs> he's about to do the chicken dance pretty soon to start attracting a mate. So send a private message to Power Times. I'll make sure that's forwarded to Mr. Jiao here. He's ready to go. So, Jao, can I use this one? Yes. This one ready to go? Like, uh-oh. You might have to MacGyver it here. Uh oh yeah, I might have to. Slicer. Hi from Cataragus Res near Buffalo, New York. Wow. You know what? I would love to come that way. That's one area I haven't gone yet is New York. I've been to uh, Niagara Falls where you could kind of see the state of New York across <laughs> from the lookout. I've seen that. So, yeah. I wouldn't mind to try that uh, New York pizza. Some legit New York pizza would be so awesome. Like uh, a deep, no, that's Chicago. <laughs> I was thinking of Chicago. When we were in Chicago, we were actually looking for some deep dish pizza. And we... Just couldn't find it for we just reason. couldn't find it and we actually took a bunch of turns and ended up in a kind of a, a tough neighborhood and we had to turn around pretty quick and uh get out of there i'm having no luck with this Jao. is yeah. this the one you used yeah. <laughs> all right Jao's hooking me up with the the cheat tape hey, just kidding here we go Oh, so we have to still cut it. All right. Yeah. 
So those of you who are tuning in just now, we are uh, creating bustles and we've been going live every Wednesday and we're going to keep going live until these bustles are finished. And so you guys could see the process step by step by step. So do you need this? Uh, are these no, cut already? No. Oh, no. Oh, I have to cut them. All right. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Um, we're making bustles. Also trying to talk and keep you entertained at the same time. So it's a lot of repetition, a lot of kind of doing the work over and over and over again. So also for the um, for the 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 straightness question. There's actually another technique that uh, we don't really kind of know. It's called the crimping technique. So mm, yeah, sure. that's kind of like a the Sim Thunderchild kind of style. Um, I'll explain it the best I can, but I'm not really an expert at it. But it's almost like you're kind of breaking the feather to make it straight, but you're ironing it at the same time. So I'm not sure the exact technique, but you and you end up with a straight feather. And that way, all the all the feathers are the same curve. So, yeah, if any if anyone knows the the crimping technique out there, let us know. Like, if you, how do you how do you do it? It's still still little tr tricks of the trade that we still have to find out. Yeah, I have to find out. Myself. I've done it a few times, and basically, you're cracking the feathers. So you just kind of snap them, like snap, snap, snap at certain places. And when you snap them, it actually straightens them out. Then you can iron them to make them a little more straighter. So, yeah, it's 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 nothing like too crazy. Like it's uh, it's just doing it in a way where your feather still stays strong at that same time. So, I have straightened feathers that way before and made a set, a couple sets like that. So. Taker, thanks. Oh, Noah Mitzman says, Tansa from Saskatoon. How's your day going, bro? It's a little tough right now, honestly, to make these live videos at this moment. Um, I did promise the people in our, our Facebook page that we go live every Wednesday. And, um, you know, I had some sad news the other day uh, of my uncle who passed away. And... Um, I'm keeping them in my thoughts here, and I have to make the travel back home and to go be with the family. And I kind of been thinking about that all day, and still, you know, wanting to to make this for you guys as promised, you know, and make sure I keep my word with this. Um, but yeah, tomorrow morning I'm gonna be heading back home to my home reserve and to be with my family and yeah, be with my uncle. But this is, you know, I got to dance some pow yesterday with the youth. And it was very healing for me to just be out there and dancing. And we didn't have our drum with us at, uh, yesterday. So what we did was we played music through YouTube. And so we had the the best singers in the house just from a click of a button, right? So which was really cool. Uh, I believe we turned on some Blackstone singers, some Black Lodge. Northern which all Queen. can be found on Palo Times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you guys want to see, hear that good music. Go over to Power Times on YouTube, and and you'll find all kinds of music there. But also, uh, we play a morning video, Jao, right? We play a morning video on Facebook every day. And uh, if you guys enjoy those morning videos, now is a good time to say thank you to this man right here, Jao. He's the one that actually, you know, is making sure those good morning powwow videos are coming out to you so if you want to say any words of appreciation to for those morning videos jow is right here and i'll uh, graciously accept uh stars yeah maybe buy him a coffee you know 250 250 stars will buy a coffee for jow here uh i believe that's about two dollars or three dollars i don't know something like that 
you guys want to send uh, some support with some stars, send them over and, uh, you know, Ja will get a nice, good cup of... Actually, you know what? I keep saying coffee, but Ja is a tea drinker. Yes, steep tea double-double. He favorite. likes his tea. He likes his steep tea double-double. <laughs> oh, Walter Renzaba brother says, hola. You got to say it in the right language, too. Hola. So he says, hola. Um, Are we saying it right? I wish we had a. Guys, you know we're we're talking about fancy dance bustles, and we're talking about um, dancing fancy. If you guys want some of the best rockers, you know that thing that goes on your head and it rocks back and forth uh, for the fancy dancers. If you want some of the best rockers in the world, uh, Mr. Walter Renzaba makes them. He calls them chief chief rockers, right? So. They rock really good. They, um, I I myself own a set of uh, Walter Renz above rocker fe- rockers and feathers as well. I think you know. I think he hooked them up with um, uh, Case and Street Special, right? <laughs> so it was. Uh, I got a pair of those, and uh, I really love the that that having them and dancing with them. So check them out, Mister Walter Renz above down in the Montana area. Next year, come to Alexander First Nations Powell, George Bernstein Abraham says. You know, I, I've been to Alexander Powell a few times and had a really great time that way. So, yeah, great idea. Walter says, make them look cho, bro. So, yeah, we're going to be, these ones, as soon as they're done, man, they're going to look, I think they're going to look nice, nice, nice set of uh, hackle bustle feathers here. So we're just working on the bottom part of these bustles, and then hopefully the next Wednesday we're going to get them all looking good um, and cutting the tops, straightening the tops out with some zip ties, and then maybe wrapping our first row of hackle. What do you think about that, Joe? Yeah, I think we have to. Uh, we're going to have to speed this up just a little bit. So, yeah. Right on, right on. Also, you know, what we did last time, if we can get to a thousand stars and like we did last time, Jiao's going to sing you guys a song, a round dance song. And I know a lot of you guys enjoyed that last time. So if you guys want to send that and hit that thousand star mark, so we're going to be adding them up and counting them up. By the end of this video, we're almost done. We're going to go, we're going to bring this home here. Jao is going to sing a nice round dance song for everyone. I know I'm volunteering him, but those of you on Instagram, those of you on YouTube, you're going to have an awesome, awesome surprise at the end of this video. Jao's voice is so angelic, like an angel. <laughs> I'm like a mixture between Jesus and uh, Fergie. <laughs> you almost feel like you're in a real powerful ceremony when Jao sings. So <laughs> you just wanna, you almost wanna like send two thousand stars when after you hear them. <laughs> I believe stars are now the uh, virtual tobacco. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those of you guys who don't know, like uh, Facebook has a stars program, and it helps like support your favorite content creators online so um uh it's a way like if you like any person's page and they're if they're going live or they co- they produce content there's a little button kind of just right on your phone there you could probably see it where it says uh send this creator stars and it's a way for you to send like support and things like that we 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 don't need it you know but we do appreciate it uh, but for those of you who do have like really good creators that you follow, that's a good way to support them because uh, you know a, a lot of the gigs, if you guys don't know, for artists have been canceled throughout the year because gatherings are being canceled, have been canceled left and right. So a lot of these artists are they don't have that opportunity to go out anymore and support themselves. So a lot of them are going to online methods and they're they're doing their art online and showing their art online. 
and a way for people to support them is by sending stars and things like that so pretty pretty cool all right Jao, there's a question for for you and for me um, tell us a story i'll wait till he gets back he's just answering the door my son is just arriving from volleyball practice here All right, Joe, you ready for this for this question? Sure. All right. Walter says, tell us a story about a moment during dancing, whether in contest, intertribal, or grand entry, that you felt euphoria. So you can go first, bro, and then, uh, and then I'll, I'll have something here. Oh, Justice Waptura, thank you for those stars. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, oh. Jao, you get that song ready to go. <laughs> All right, so we're going to answer this question. Jao will go first, and then, then I'll go. Bismarck, 2019. It was a cold, cold evening. <laughs> uh, oh, Bismarck, 2019. So uh, this is one of my first uh, U.S. powwows, actually, in a long, long time. And usually in, in the, um, the Canada powwows, there's, uh, there's a lot of, um, what can, how can I say this? The, the, the competition side is, like, not... This this like a whole other careful, nother, it's, careful. A, it's a whole nother level out there, but <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I was sitting there and I was watching the men's grass special, and uh, I was sitting back there and uh, they they had a special where the the drum tried to beat the men's grass, so the, the dancers would try to guess like where to stop, and so by the end of it, there was about maybe ten, no, like five grass dancers out there. And all of them got all the stops, and I was so stunned. I was like, "Oh my goodness!" And the singing was so superb and on point, and everything was just like, "Wow!" Like it was really, I felt really grateful in that moment just to sit back and be like, "Oh, this is some high-level stuff." <laughs> nice. That's one that really sticks out to me um, at Bismarck, North Dakota. Also, I got some furs at Biz Bismarck, so yeah. Some new fancy dance furs. Give them a round of applause, everybody. Wonderful story. One uh, round of applause could be uh, sending some likes and some shares. <laughs> um, for me, you know, there's a couple couple moments. Um, this one is when I wasn't dancing, though. And uh, my uncle took me to a powwow for the first time. And he's like, hey, nephew, you want to come to a powwow? And you know, I wasn't really a big part of the Palo circuit. Uh oh, Joe, we're gonna lose some power here. <laughs> um, Looks like we're gonna need the charger. One second. And um, my uncle took me to a powwow, and I remember I was just playing around with the kids. To me, it was like a festival, it was like a fair, and I was running around. You know, little snotty nose kid. The bags over there, Joe, and I was. I heard a loud roar, a loud cheer coming from uh, the, da the dancing arbor. And I remember running over there, and there was a big crowd. And I was kind of, I was a little kid, so I was able to kind of get in front and to see what, what is all this commotion about? Why are all these people cheering so loud? And I made it to the front. And I, what I seen was something so awesome literally time slowed down and everyone was moving in slow motion and what i seen for the first time ever in my life i was eight years old uh was the men's fancy dance and there's these guys with feathers and they were dancing around and and time just slowed for me and i didn't know what i was looking at but there's these guys they were dancing fast throwing their sticks up cartwheels and kicks and i just amazed and I couldn't believe what I was what I was watching. And I remember pointing at the I remember pointing at the dancers and I said, I don't know what this is, I don't know what they're doing, but I just know that I have to do what this is. And later I found out it was men's fancy dance. And I I remember I was I went home and I went to the beach and I picked up as many seagull feathers as I could. And I came home and just had a memory made dance sticks for myself and i got some some wood on the ground and some string and some all these seagull feathers and i tied them together 
And I was like, how do you get all these colors on these feathers? I said. And I was like, I know what I could do. And I ran inside and I, I put a chair and I climbed on top of the fridge and I grabbed all my uncle's bingo dabbers. And I grabbed those bingo dabbers and I bingo dabbed the seagull feathers to make them colorful. And I would practice every single day with these feathers. And it wasn't until five years later is when I, I, I got gifted with a, a, a fancy dance outfit. Hold on, Jao, real quick here. I'm almost done. And that started my career as a fancy dancer. And I'm so grateful for those moments. And I remember just those first years dancing uh, was all your euphoria to me right after that because it was such a learning experience. Anyway, going on and that we finished today. I have one more feather left. So, Jao, you could get up close and personal to to these cameras and let them know what you did. Show them what you did. So you guys can see, there's the tape work, kind of simple for this and easy. And uh, yeah, so we got all the tape work all finished up here. And the next day that we come back live, we're gonna have the tops. We're gonna be working on these top feathers here. So there's some cutting that's gonna happen. There's gonna be some reinforcement that is gonna happen. Some taping and taping some gluing some measuring and, and wrapping and hopefully we're gonna get all these feathers together here now so it's looking really good uh, we got a lot done today we've been live for about almost an hour here Jiao. so uh like we said and like we promised Jiao is gonna uh kevin says love you son we love you too so much uh yes uh uh Walter says, thank you for sharing. You're both great dancers, awesome people. Can't wait until next week. <laughs> right on, brother. Hey, hi, thank you so much. Uh, thanks, for, um, brother, for, for tuning in. Much love to you. I also see that your son is doing some sports and stuff, so good luck to your son. I see you posting pictures and things like that. So uh, we're following you too. You know, We're following you too. So keep up the good fatherhood, uh, things that you're doing. Uh, you're really setting a good example for all these other young men out there as well. Um, so yeah, it's all done here. We're going to get Jiao on the mic. He's going to sing a, a good round dance song for you guys. Uh, two starts of a round dance song. Um, next time, maybe you guys could, uh, put in your, um, your requests cause he can sing all types of songs here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sing this today? one's specifically, uh, for the ladies out there. Cause this, remember I said Jiao is single here and he's a good man and he knows how to make bustles. So Hit them up. Anyway, so here's here's a good round that song. Two starts coming all the way from Whitefish, uh, Saskatchewan First Nations. Uh, Jow Rogan in the house. Take it away. out there in facebook land instagram land that was mr jow rogan mr jared whitefish from whitefish 
Saskatchewan in the house singing for all of you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your time with us. Uh, I know some of you guys stayed for the whole hour. We really appreciate that. We got 146 likes here on um, Facebook, Jow, which is really nice for those of you who are watching. Give us a like. Give us a share. Uh, that's a way you could support us for free is by doing that like and share and comment thing. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're going to sign out here. Jow, do you have anything, last words to say to anybody out there? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jared Whitefish. Uh, thank you for uh, giving us your time today. And if you have any more questions, tune in next week. We're going to go live again on Wednesday. And we're going to continue our uh, men's, our uh, fancy dance bustles here. Thank that, you. That's right. I forgot to say, mark your calendars uh, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So that would be, what, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Put that in your calendar because we'll be back to finish off these bad boys. And we might be in a new location next week. So, um, But, yeah, thank you guys so much. And have a good night. We'll see you later. Peace.